Hi, welcome to another video. So, Google's Project IDX is something I have covered before, and it was actually really great because you get a whole VS Code interface on the web that can be accessed from anything that has a browser. You also get a whole Android emulator in it, and the best part was that it had AI features as well, like auto-completion, inline assist, and simple chat. The only thing that made it a little bad at the time in terms of AI features was a lack of a multi-file editing composer-like interface. But that's now fixed because Project IDX now gives you an interactive chat that can run commands in your terminal, suggest changes, and add new files for you to review with an interactive diff tool, which is just amazing. So now, Project IDX is probably a new, great, and free alternative to Cursor, Windsurf, and every other AI tool. Recently, Gemini models are getting even greater, like the new experimental models are pretty good and are even beating Sonnet and others on the LMSYS Arena leaderboard, which is pretty cool, to be honest. So, it should now be even better in coding. There are also some other new features in it as well. So, let's have a look at that as well. First of all, just come to Project IDX and get yourself signed in, and you'll see this page. Here, you can select anything from Next.js to Flutter or Expo or anything you'd want. If you select a mobile framework like Flutter or Expo, you'll also get an Android emulator, which is like proper Android, and you can test your apps within it as well. I had done a video where I created a full app by just using it with Flutter, so you can check that out. Anyway, let's select Flutter, because I like using it. Okay, here it will ask you for the basic project name and everything. Just put it in as you want, and it will start getting created. This doesn't take very long. It is very fast and gets booted up in about a minute. If we wait a bit, you can see that it's now done, and we have a whole VS Code-like thing here. Now, you can do everything that you do with a general VS Code, which is to install extensions. You can also fire up the terminal and run commands in there as well, because it is based on Nix OS and can run almost any Linux commands. You can also install Klein or Ader as well, which I also covered in the last Project IDX video, if you wish to see that. You also have the Android emulator here, which is running the basic Flutter app, and you can also just use it like a proper Android phone, which is also great. But there's also the Gemini features in it, which turn this into an AI editor. You can just hit the Gemini icon, and this will ask you if you want code indexing and auto-completion as well. Just check all the options, and once you do that, you'll see this chat interface. Here, you can do simple chat, generate code, and use the insert or apply option to apply it as well. Plus, you also have the auto-completion inside your files, which is pretty great. Not just that, you also get inline assist as well. So, you can generate code in files, and it works really well, which is just amazing, and all this has no limits. But now, they have a new option called Interactive Chat. So now, when you go to the chat window, you can see that we have an option called Interactive Chat over here. What we can do is click it, and it will open up a new chat window. Here, you can ask it to do anything, and it can update and write files on its own. Not just that, it can also run terminal commands as well. So, it can basically write to multiple files, run commands, and everything you'd wish. Let's ask it to do something. Let's ask it to transform this basic Flutter app into a basic water tracker app where I can track my water intake throughout the day. Okay, it's now doing that. So, if we wait a bit, you can see that it generates the file. Here, it is asking for approval to apply the changes to the file. You can either review the file here 
by clicking Review File. And here you'll see the diff format for the changes. Once you think everything's good, you can just click the Approve option, and the changes will be applied to the file. So, you can see that it's now applied here. It's pretty good. Let's preview it in the emulator. OK, this looks pretty good. It's working fine as well, which is pretty great. Although it has some issues, like I don't like the title bar here, and it also isn't as minimal as I'd want. So, let's go over to the thing again and ask it to make some changes to it, like removing the title bar and making it more sleek and modern. OK, it's now doing that. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. We can just review the changes over here and now approve them. OK, it's now done. So, if we go back to the emulator, this looks pretty amazing. You can see that this is just amazing and works extremely well. I really like this UI, and it's pretty usable, although there can be multiple other things that I can also do, like asking it for a target-changing thing and stuff. It's pretty evident that you can do it quite easily. But let's first see what else it can do as well. So, it says that it can also run terminal commands and stuff. So, what I did was ask it to run a basic ls command. And once I sent it, it gave me the command to run. And you can again approve it to run. So, I did that, and it ran it, analyzed the stuff in the response, and gave it back, which is pretty good. It could be beneficial if you want to install packages and stuff, which is pretty great. It works really well. I don't find any issues in it. Although, I would have liked it if it had web search and other better capabilities. But it's currently in preview, so it will only get better from here. And the best part is that all this is free, and it doesn't even have any limits, which is great. I mean, you don't even need to pay a cent or create an account, because most probably you already have a Google account. So, this is great. I really like it, and it keeps getting better day by day. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.